Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. The first question is that for those who are newly praying, how should they stay connected to the prayer? This is, may Allah bless you for connecting to the prayer. Matters become clear by their purpose. Matters become clear by their purpose. The first principle of Islamic law is al umuru bi maqasidiha. The first principle of Islamic law of religious guidance and its actualization is matters are by their motives. And this is stated in Ibn James Al Ashbah wa Nadair as one of the principles. Why? Because so, of, because so many texts of the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala always tells us the purpose behind things. For example, with respect to the prayer, which is what the questioner asked about. How do I remain connected to the prayer? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us. Qul, he said, he, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and this command was originally to say, the Musa alayhi salam, innani an Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses, indeed, I am God. La ilaha illa ana, there is no God but me. Fa'abudni, so therefore worship me. Wa aqimis salata li dhikri, and establish the prayer. For my remembrance. So to remain connected to the prayer, the first thing is that we need to always commit and renew our commitment to our ultimate life purpose, which is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That we know who are we and who is our Lord. One of the great early Muslims, Yahya bin Mu'adh al-Razi said, مَنْ عَرَفَ نَفْسَهُ عَرَفَ رَبَّهُ Whoever knows themselves, knows their Lord. Whoever knows themselves, knows their Lord. Whoever knows themselves, that I am created and dependent. I am a created being. I have a creator. I am in utter need. And my need is only fulfilled through my creator and sustainer. My identity is, I'm a servant of God. My purpose for existing is, what's my purpose for existence? Is that, is to fulfill my identity and reality. I am created, dependent and needy. I have a purpose in this life. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I have not created jinn and humans except that they may worship me. That is our existential purpose. And that is the potential of life. That is the potential of life. الَّذِي خَلَقَ الْمَوْتَ وَالْحَيَاةَ لِيَبْلُوَكُمْ أَيُّكُمْ أَحْسَنُ عَمَلًا Allah is the one who has created both death and life to test us and try us. Which of us is best in action? And there are fundamental good actions in life. The fundamental good actions are belief. In God, who is our creator, sustainer, and benefactor. And then, gratitude to God for the gift of life, faith, guidance, and good. How do we express our life purpose as servants of God? Is by serving God. How? The first act of service is to worship Allah. Right? So, to remain connected to the prayer, we should remind ourselves of these fundamental of truths. Who am I? As we've explained. Who is my Lord? Allah. What is my purpose in this life? To serve God out of gratitude for the gift of life, faith, guidance, and good. How do I express my gratitude? The prayer is an act of gratitude. The Prophet ﷺ would pray so long at night his feet would swell in his later years. And when he was asked by his wife and others, O oh, Messenger of Allah, why do you do all this when God has cleared you from sin, past and future? 
And our beloved Messenger وسلم, said, should I not be a truly thankful servant? Should I not be a truly grateful servant? So we remind ourselves of these com- comprehensive meanings. Right? Who am I? Who is my Lord? What is my purpose? How is my purpose fulfilled? And then to know about the prayer and its merits. And its merits. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam tells us about the great merits of prayer in many hadiths. And we should read about those merits that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked the companions that if any one of you had a river passing by their house in which they bathed five times a day, would any dirt remain on them? And the Sahaba said, nothing would remain, O Messenger of Allah. The, our beloved Messenger وسلم, said, that is the example of the five prayers by which Allah completely cleanses our sins. So the prayer cleanses, it purifies, and it's a means of drawing closer to Allah in the completion of the first surah that was revealed, Surah Iqra, the last verses which are revealed later, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, Wasjud, prostrate, waqtarib, and draw close. Prayer is a purification and a drawing closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we remind ourselves of the purpose. Also, by praying purposefully, So enter the prayer always with intention. And if you do so, if you do enter the prayer with intention, then you will find the fruits of the prayer and help you sustain it. And then strive to pray with focus on the meaning of what you say and what you do. So the prayer will be fruitful. And if you pray fruitfully, then it becomes better to sustain slow down your prayer. You don't have to go very slow. Do not ever rush the prayer. Even in the middle of everything, there's an illusion of speed that if I do it faster, I can move on. Practice one day. Do four rakahs at a regular speed and do four rakahs quickly. And look at the difference in time. Do you save 30 seconds? 45 seconds? Do you save a minute? Not really. And then after the prayer, Strive to carry the meanings of the prayer outside. And we have many resources on seekers on presence of heart in prayer. But also take care of how you live. Because how you live affects how you pray. So strive to remember Allah outside the prayer. Strive to be committed to prioritizing God in your life. And you'll find that when you come to the prayer, you already have a living relationship with God. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala facilitate. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah